Well, welcome to our new YouTube channel. I think we're going to call it Simple Vacations. And we're going to start with featuring Kelly's Island in Ohio. Kelly's Island's been in my family for 40 plus years. My grandparents used to bring me up here. We used to bike around the island. Grandparents had a small little 19 foot boat and we used to come up here and spend the day and then take the long trip back home, usually in rough waters. I had an opportunity to work up here when I was 19 and 20 years old. I'm 47 years old now. I met my wife up here on Kelly's Island at a place called Camp Patmos. So it's a very special place for uh, our family and we've been here, uh, I don't know, 100 plus times over the years. We had an opportunity to buy a piece of property up here. We've got some land up here. The goal is to eventually build on it and maybe have a small retirement home. But we're gonna feature Kelly's Island this weekend. We're gonna show you some of the spots that we like to spend time at. This one right here is uh, what we call Rock Beach. It's on the south side of the island. It's where the ferries run. And uh, it's about 5.30 in the evening. It's a pretty overcast day, but it's, uh, you can see just based on the water, it's, it's a gorgeous day. So we look forward to uh, showing you Kelly's Island. And uh, if you like the channel, please uh, subscribe and like it and, and tell other people about it. It's our, our first... Uh, try it uh, doing the YouTube channel uh, my children 13 year old and 11 year old uh, watch YouTube all the time so uh, this would be kind of cool if we can do this as a family so look forward to uh, sharing more of our vacation spots with you over time we start our tour of Kelly's Island right here at the well me to Kelly's Island sign and you'll notice probably it's pretty windy but I don't know if you can see this where we're standing and I'll zoom in way and see if it focuses yeah, I can't really see it but that's Cedar Point in the background guys Cedar Point so welcome me to Kelly's Island. Well here we are at the Kelly's Island Venture Resort. This is one of the few, actually I think it's the only actual hotel that you can get uh, reservations for on the island. I think it's about 38 rooms. They book up really, really fast. We find that we come before the heart of the season in May, usually come right around the middle of May. They have the pool open and you can get yourself a room. Uh, if it's something you're interested in, you definitely want to uh, call and book ahead. You may even have to book a year in advance. Uh, beautiful location. They do a really good job. The rooms are very nice. The state park. This is one of the uh, other areas that you can stay on the island and uh, another nice facility. Uh, we'll do a quick drive through, maybe turn it into a quick time lapse for you so you can see a little bit of what the uh, state park looks like inside.
hey look, Kelly's Island even has a post office. How awesome is that? Here we are at the uh, old quarry. You can see how blue the water is. This is natural rainwater. Has filled this up over time. When I started coming here well, back in my teenage years, this was all quarried out. And that water's probably anywhere from 40 to 50 feet deep. On the uh, north shore of Kelly's Island, the sun's about to set probably here in the next uh, hour and a half or so. But uh, to my uh, back here, we have uh, what's called Camp Atmos. Camp Atmos is a uh, Christian camp. Unfortunately, they were unable to open this year due to COVID, but this is a camp that generally has middle schoolers, elementary school, high school, and even family camp. This is where me and my wife met back in 1993. It does have a lighthouse. I'll, uh, walk down here in a minute and show you the lighthouse but uh, in the background there that's the chapel and then uh, the main house is just behind that and then the white house far in the distance is called the water house uh, they make their own water this is an old uh, smoke house that um, we used to use for uh, ski supplies so all the Life preservers and skis and everything were inside. I don't know what it's used for today, but it's a brick smokehouse right on the shore. I mean, it's literally, if you take a look at the water right behind it, it's built right on a cliff overlooking the shore here. It's pretty cool. We actually have a uh, drawing of this smokehouse that I uh, found in an antique store down in uh, Ohio. I bought it. I'll take a picture of it and put it in the video so you can see uh, it's the same smokehouse. And then uh, this is where uh, the old dock was. They've uh, taken it all down and uh, put a railing around it. But this is, used to extend out and this is where they used to have campers come down. You'll notice uh, in the distance there that uh, this is the uh, only lighthouse on Kelly's Island. They call it the Camp Patmos Lighthouse. It does actually work. And, um, you know, on foggy nights they do turn it on so, uh, so boaters can see uh, where the shoreline's at. Uh, in the distance here you'll see uh, the main house for Camp Atmos. This is uh, where the cafeteria is, the kitchen, uh, in the lower level. And then uh, they have rooms uh, in the upper level for uh, staff members. Here we are on the uh, north point of Kelly's Island. It's um, very rocky over here. No beaches, you'll notice, just kind of cliff-like, and um, this is a very private part of the island. Time to shoot off the cannon, y'all.
it's day two on Kelly's Island and we continue our tour. So we're now at the historic glacial grooves. This is uh, one of the largest uh, examples of glacial grooves in the United States. So we're gonna head on up, check them out. As you can see, there's my Jeep. And we're walking up to the uh, glacial grooves. They recently put uh, handicap accessibility in, so that's nice. Before it used to only be stairs. And uh, we'll give you a quick idea of what the history looks like. It's a rainy day here, and uh, one of my sons pointed out that uh, there's a river flowing down the uh, actual grooves themselves, so that'll be kind of cool. Here's a couple uh, kiosks. Shows uh, the history of the glacial grooves. Just a quick idea. It says here, due to their large size and ease of accessibility, these are the most famous glacial grooves in the world. Designated as a national natural landmark in 1967. The grooves have been an object of fascination for students, vacationers, and science alike. So there's that. And then here's a quick history. So it says here, one of the other things on uh, Kelly's Island is there's uh, a rock called Inscription Rock. It's um, a pictograph or pictorial or pic no, not pictorial, but pic pictograph. Uh, American Indians carved out. That's on the south side of the island. We'll see if maybe we can get, uh, we'll get, uh, A view of that before we, we head out today but uh, here we go here are the glacial grooves here's a uh, top view of the glacial grooves looking back at the very beginning and uh, I'm gonna pan over here looks like uh, somebody started Putting locks on this fence here. I think there's an old uh, bridge in Europe that uh, you go and put a lock and take the key and throw it in the water. I would say this is probably a very similar, same concept. Make a wish, throw the key in the water. You really can't see. But it's probably about a, I don't know, 100, maybe 80, 80 foot drop there. So I'm assuming that uh, that's the same concept here. We're uh, putting a lock on the fence, making a wish, and throwing the key over the cliff. Well, no tour on Kelly's Island would be complete without uh, stopping at the... Uh, historic museum and gift shop. You can see uh, the hours there, open 12 to 4, Friday and Monday, and close Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Uh, this is a seasonal museum, so if you don't come uh, during the summer months, I think sometime in uh, September, the muse museum actually closes for the year. But the uh, cool thing is you can see some of the old, old signs. There's the uh, Island Cottage GIF t-shirts, the old Newman Boat Ferry Line that used to be, you can see uh, the Kelly's Islander, which that was a boat, and then another Newman Boat Line sign. There's another boat sign and the, the Endeavor. 
and uh, obviously I think it's uh, five dollars per family of six uh, to walk through the the uh, the museum and uh, it's a nice museum here's a picture of the old Kelly's Island wine company this is uh, burnt down I don't know when it burnt down but uh, there are some ruins of this uh, it's on private land today um, so it's not something that we can actually go and look at uh, it would be awesome to, to check it out but uh, you'd have to get permission from the uh, the owners of the property and then you can see just some uh, old uh, old wagon and some other items but uh, they're closed today it's Labor Day I don't think they open till noon today but uh, I wanted to stop and uh, share this with you well, I told you I would uh, do my best to get inscription rock petroglyphs we'll walk down here but you, as you'll notice the uh, the weather's changed quite a bit uh, winds are up probably about 20 miles an hour or so maybe 15 20 miles an hour and uh, once we uh, take a picture here or some video here uh, we'll get on the ferry and head to uh, one of our favorite places for lunch and we'll do a little little thing on that it's called Nettie's home of the Toledo Coney Dog. So Inscription Rock, here's a quick view of what it used to look like. Now obviously over time all of that has wore off. You still can see a little bit of it, but uh, here's the rock behind us. And um, it's hard to tell, but you can see some of the some of the carvings right in front of me here. But uh, it definitely has uh, weathered over the years. They do have a cover over it, and it's right on it's right on the water, so. As the waves come up and crash on it, it just uh, deteriorates over time. So, but another spot on Kelly's Island that uh, you can check out. And if you're into this type of stuff, there's all types of history on Kelly's Island. So, well, we'll be getting on the ferry here shortly. We want to make it cross back to mainland before uh, the weather gets too bad. And um, that way we can make it home and, and spend the rest of our week uh, working and going to school. But um, I hope you've liked what we've done so far. This is just an idea of, of what we do on Kelly's Island. Some of the places that we like and enjoy that we've been doing for years. Here we are at the world famous Nettie's Chili Dogs. One of our favorite spots to stop at after we uh, spend some time on Kelly's. Figured I'd throw this in last minute. If you haven't tried Nettie's, give it a try. It's pretty amazing.